good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i'm going to be turning this toys r us exclusive cash in seth rollins without the head scan into an updated 2018 money in the bank 2018 seth rollins i think i just said 2018 twice so i'm a freaking moron but anyways you guys already knew that but uh i was inspired by wide fix his picture of his seth rollins with the updated head scan from this right here the new elite 64 head scan on his toys r us cash in i think all he did was put that head scan on there and then switched out the hands i'm pretty sure that's all he did i could be wrong about that but i, I i'm about 98 percent sure that's what he did I'm going to take it a step further. What I'm going to do is be popping the arms from the Elite 52 Seth Rollins. I have like a bunch of extra ones. I'm going to take the arms off of that because I don't like the skinny arms that Mattel gave Seth on his older Elites. So I'm going to give him give him these beefier arms and uh, that way he'll, he won't have the gloves. He'll have the black wrist tape that he wore and uh, you know it'll beef him up a little bit. We're also going to be adding chest hair. Um, we're going to be putting the Elite 64 head skin over here. We're going to acetone this SR logo off of the belt. Um, we're going to be switching these knee pads out for these knee pads. And we're also going to be painting the gold trim on the kick pads, the gold trim on the knee pads. And we're going to be adding the gray color to the side panels of these tights because they, they didn't add the gray details. And then we're going to finish it off with the silver belt buckle on the crotch piece to finally complete that look of Seth Rollins from 2018's Money in the Bank. I do believe that's when he wore it. I could be wrong about that, but you guys saw the picture and what he's supposed to look like. So hopefully it will be accurate at the end of the video. So a lot of this won't be me talking. It'll be me actually working and, you know, it'll be like a... Uh, time lapse of me working on the figure and everything so I guess we're going to get started um I don't know what we'll start with I guess we can start with the part switching and then we'll get into the painting and all that ish so I guess we can start off guys with the hair dryer we're going to be taking the good old white hair dryer and just heating all this stuff up remember we're removing the elite 64 head scan the arms off the Toys R Us exclusive and the arms off the elite 52 So I guess we can see if that's good enough. We'll start off with the Money in the Bank arms. Got that. Money in the Bank. I meant cash in. All right, so we got those arms off. Let's see if the arms for the Elite 52 are good. Got that arm. Got the other arm. So now all we have to do is plop this arm in here. And this arm over here. And bam, already looks more like an updated Seth Rollins without those gloves on there. And then the last thing is to pop this Elite 64 head skin off, which is always scary because you don't want to snap the torso or anything like that. And bam, we got it off pretty easy. Now we're just going to pop it onto the Toys R Us exclusive. And bam. And my god, it already looks a hundred times better. Look at that right there. That's freaking beautiful. So now all we have to do is move on to the next step of our process. So I've went ahead and removed the lower legs because what we're gonna have to do is switch out those knee pads. You know, they had the inaccurate knee pads like this. Uh, he was actually he actually wears open knee pads, so we have these, and I had to remove the lower legs. That way we could remove that, and then I'll go in, do all the stuff we're gonna do to this first, and then I will paint up the knee pads, place them on there, uh, paint up the kick, before I paint up the kick pads, I'll reheat those up, pop them back in, that way you know you don't damage the paint you did to the knee pads or the kick pads, and then when the kick pads are back on, I'll go back and add that paint. But uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our acetone right here, and we're going to uh, pour some in the top like I did on, I think, the last episode of Action Figure Surgery. We're going to pour some into the top. I'm going to use my Q-tips that I have right here, and we're going to dip this in there, and then, you know, slightly remove this, and then we're going to uh, add the silver bell buckle, and then we'll come back and do the tights on the sides, or the, the paint on the sides of the tights. So I believe I did this on the last episode of Action Figure Surgery. We're going to unscrew the top of the acetone. You guys can see the brand right here. It's Equate Nail Polish Remover 100% Acetone. Ask your parents before buying this. But I take the top right here, and all I do is just pour a little bit into the top. That way you have just enough there. And uh, so I just put it there. And uh, take my Q-tip, and let's get started. So here's the finished product. When we're all said and done, guys, you can see that it completely removed it. Uh, very clean, not like the CM Punk. Uh, you can see where the shine is. That's because there is a black coat of paint over the uh, over the crotch piece. That's why 
it's shiny compared to matte down here so I may have to add a coat of black before I come back and paint that silver on there but it does look good you know it is removed and it is gone I wish I had a sculpted belt or a warble belt I could put on there but that is not what we have so what I'm gonna have to do is just paint on the silver buckle so I guess we can do that first then we'll paint the sides of the tights so for the belt buckle guys I'm going to be using the elite 64 belt buckle as a reference and we're just gonna paint it onto this crotch piece right here for the silver I'm going to be using this folk art enamel Silver, what does that say? Silver sterling. Yeah, I'm going to be using this. You can buy it at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. You can see it's very cheap, $1.99. And I think they have a bunch of deals going on all the time. So it's probably even cheaper than that. But it is enamel, so it goes on there thicker and more clean, so I don't have to do 100 coats. But uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to thin this out. It's pretty uh, it's pretty good if you don't thin this kind out. So I'm not going to be thinning it out. I think I'm just going to put some in the top here, and we're going to get started with it. So for my brush, I'm just going to be using this small detail brush. As you can see, very fine point there, and we're just going to get started. So this is what the belt buckle looks like when it's finished, guys. You can see if you compare it to the Elite 64, they're pretty similar. I think I like the Elite 64 a little bit more, but it's not a terrible effort at all. So the belt buckle is done, and now we are moving on to the next step, which is painting up the sides of the tights. So for the sides of the tights, the knee pads, and I think that's it, just the sides of the tights and the knee pads, we'll be using this Ceram Coat Hippo gray color. It's very accurate to the Seth Rollins attire with this. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on the painting. Guys, I actually forgot if I want to get the upper part of these thighs, I'm actually going to have to pop this off. So I guess uh, the next compilation or time lapse that you will see it will be me painting the legs, but uh, they will be separated from this crotch.
Well, guys, I'm pretty stupid. I uh, just realized that these, this gray is not right. This is actually too light. I got confused because this is the gray that he wears on his entrance shirt with this attire, but the actual gray on the tights is darker than this. So what I'm going to have to do is go back over it with either uh, the black and, you know, the gray will just kind of shine through, or I'm going to have to go in with a darker gray um, than the hippo gray that we use. So I guess I'm just going to go in with a darker gray, and I guess you guys can enjoy me repainting what I just painted, but it will look alright in the end. So let's go ahead and repaint this ish. So I think this color is much better, guys. I mean, you guys can see that it's much darker. It's much more accurate to the pictures from Money in the Bank 2018. So I'm very happy with the way this came out. Compared to the lighter gray, like I said, the lighter gray was more accurate to his entrance shirt, rather, than his tights themselves. But now that we have finished painting the tights, I guess what we can move on to is the chest hair. And then after the chest hair, we can move on to our knee pads and kick pads. Well guys, so much for the chest hair. Uh, there's not a single freaking pencil in this entire house, if you can believe that. I literally checked everywhere, even in my custom stuff. I cannot find a pencil, so I guess what we can do is move on to the knee pads and the kick pads, since uh, I don't have a single pencil in my entire house.
So here is our final product, Money in the Bank 2018 Seth freaking Rollins. Guys, as you can see, um, I know I didn't get as much of the knee pad and kick pad painting that I would like. And also, of course, we did not get the chest hair done because there's not a freaking pencil in my entire house. But, you know, we'll get that taken care of. It's not sealed quite yet, but you guys can see the final result here. Um, as we zoom in and you guys can take a good look at everything all the way around. Again, very happy with the way it came out. Um, I think the gray is a lot more accurate. I like the way the kick pads came out, that solid gold color. The belt buckle covering over the SR logo is uh, more accurate there. And everything is just so nice, especially with this head scan. And I want to give a huge shout out to Wadfigs for making that fix up and making me want to uh, use my extra Toys R Us exclusive that I had to create this Money in the Bank 2018 Seth Rollins. I think I have the Intercontinental Championship back here somewhere and we can throw it on him here to complete the look because he did, I think, retain the Intercontinental Championship versus Elias, and uh, now he's looking fresh to death. So, Seth freaking Rollins is complete. He will go up on the shelf, and this makes 45 total Seth Rollins Elites that I have in my collection. But that pretty much does it for this tutorial slash custom slash whatever the crap surgery video you want to call it. Got to get that chest hair on there. I think it'll actually complete it and make it look a lot better, but we'll do that later on. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.